and welcome back to my channel so today i figured i'd do like a get ready with me style video because i don't think i have any of that on here sort of like a cheat chatty type video so to kind of help me save some time i have done my eyebrows off camera and already prepped my eyelid area i don't really have a clue what i'm gonna do <laughs> or what to do so we're just gonna wing it and see what we come up with in my usual tradition i'm going to start off with my eyes because I just prefer to do my eyes first before I do my base. Um, my face is already sort of primed. Um, I just have some milk of magnesia on the areas where I usually get the oiliest the most or where I usually get oily the most because to be honest with you, I need this makeup to last me <laughs> a long time today. But I'm just gonna put some tape on the corner of my eyes because I know that I want to wing my liner today. So there we go. Now I always use the tape because I am such a clumsy person. Like I don't have steady hands at all. So every time I freehand my liner, one's always higher than the other. And it doesn't help me that my eyes are not the same. I've got one eye slightly bigger than the other. This is my bigger eye. <laughs> this is my bigger eye. This eye is slightly more open than this one is. So I've got more space on this side than I do on this side and I end up having a bigger liner on this side than I do on this side and then they end up not looking the same and then I end up pulling them up higher and higher until my whole non-existent eye space is covered with liner and it's never cute so I just put the tape there to make my job easy. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the eyes first like I mentioned before and I think I'm going to dig into my absolute favorite palette this palette has made an appearance on this channel many times before and it's my um small selection of my makeup geek eyeshadows and i'm going to reach into my all-time favorite transitional color which is coco bear and as you can see this shadow is done but i ain't ready to let it go because there's still shadow in there so how is everyone doing i hope you guys you guys are doing well right okay this is not an actual tutorial tutorial guys so i'm not really gonna go in depth as far as what i'm doing i'm just gonna mention the products because cutscene demands that i do that <laughs> so yeah guys um yeah i'm doing all right life could be better i'm not gonna lie but again i'm not complaining because there are people in worse situations than myself um i hope you all are doing well um yeah to be honest i don't really know what i want to talk about i just felt like i needed to come on here and just you know talk a bit coming sorry about that guys that was the postman so um yeah i was saying so yeah my daughter has um they have they're doing a themed uh day at school they're learning about egyptian history and all of that stuff and for a day they have to dress up as something from ancient egypt so i had to order her uh costume online yesterday um because she has to dress up tomorrow and that's what the de de delivery is so she's going to be really excited when she comes back from school today to find out her costume is here so that's the first color down so for the next color i'm going to reach into my juvia's place uh nubian 2 palette i think i'm going to go in with the shade kenya right there this is just a nice deep brown color i have been watching this series on netflix for the last couple of days um seven seconds and it's pretty fucking dope okay it's a really bomb series and it's a story about a young black boy who was run over by the cops and they're trying to cover it up and you know the whole racism card is coming up and and it's just about corrupt cops and how it tears down you know how, how a tragedy such as losing a child can you know break down people's faith and tear a family apart and all of that stuff it's really really dope so if you're on netflix and you're watching that series or you have watched that series no spoilers though do not spoil it for me i'm currently on uh episode seven i hope to round it up tomorrow because i ain't got nothing to do <laughs> but sit around and watch netflix i'm really like really invested in it and if i find a series that i really really enjoy i just am um, emotionally physically mentally committed to it so yes i can't wait to get to the end of it and then the other thing i'm watching on netflix that's really pretty dope is black lightning oh my god 
like seriously i'm so excited for or excited about how we're being portrayed or so far how we have been portrayed in media this year we had black panther okay that i literally just saw the other day i didn't get a chance to see it you know the week it come out but i went on monday to watch black panther wakanda forever like what absolutely amazing 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 and it's very very nice for you know for me for things like this to happen in my time to see black people being portrayed in in a really good light a deviation from what they normally portray us as we're usually oh sorry <laughs> i nearly knocked my camera off then we're usually portrayed as you know the gangsters the drug dealers the hookers angry black women and all of that stuff in the media that's that's how we've always been portrayed as but it's nice to see us being put forward in a completely different light and it's empowering for our young ones for our kids to see us in this light you know to see that we are capable of being much more than what they have portrayed us to be for years so it's absolutely mind-blowing for me and black lightning as well is a pretty dope concept about a superhero or a hero for the people in the black community and of, of course he's black black lightning but it's pretty dope it's pretty dope as well so if you're not watching that go check it out now i know the shows in the uk and in the us are completely different but um yeah who else is watching black Lightning? who else is in black lightning black lightning if you're on it let's talk about it in the comment section also let me know what other shows i should be checking out on netflix because yeah i don't i don't really be knowing what to check for but yeah, once in a while I find some really good shows and I just like really invest myself into it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah, but seven seconds, the one I'm currently watching is sick as fuck, okay? It's, it is dope. And I'm just using, what am I using here? I'm just using my Sedona Lace EB09 to apply that shade Kenya, more so in my outer corner than anywhere else because I just want to add a bit of depth to that part of my eyes okay so that's where i'm at now now for the eyelids i'm just gonna go in with cork from mac who remembers cork from mac i feel like people don't be buying mac shadows no more like literally there's so much competition out there really great you know quality uh products from very affordable brands that mac just isn't doing it for a lot of us anymore but this particular one i've had for time okay and i hardly use it because i have other shades in other palettes that just work great and i'm more of a palette person myself i don't really like buying singles like i'll buy singles because maybe the shade is not very common or it's like a dual chrome shade or whatever but i personally tend to lean more towards palettes than i do uh buying single shadows you know Right, can you see my eyeliner, guys? Can you guys see what I did to my eyeliner? I'm so dopey sometimes. <laughs> Basically, right, <laughs> my dip brow pomade comes in a glass jar. And sometimes when I want to use it, I find it's too stiff. So I pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to soften it up a bit. And I use it. So on this particular day, I wanted to use my Inglot gel liner. And of course, it was a bit dry. But I completely forgot it wasn't in a glass, you know, like it's not in a glass <laughs> uh, container. This is plastic. And I popped it in the microwave. <laughs> Next thing I see, my microwave is going up in flames. So yeah, I melted it. But I ain't chucking it away. I'm still using my stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a few drops of my Duraline. Which is what I should have done in the first place, you know. But again, don't be... I can't just be chucking it away. I'm gonna make it work. Is it me? So my eyeliner is done. Um, this point, I think I'm gonna go onto my face and start on the face because why not? Now I'm gonna go in with my Becca Topaz and just apply these to the high points of my face. So glow's on now and I'm gonna go in with foundation. 
So for foundation today, I'm going to mix foundations and I'm going to mix my Fenty Pro Filter, which I have been using quite religiously and I've been really loving it with a little dash of my Urban Decay All Nighter. Now this foundation I really like because it's super full coverage, it's super matte, it literally stays on all freaking day, okay? Uh, but the shade 9.75 that I have is a smidge too yellow for me. So I just like to mix two parts of this to one part of this when I want super full, long lasting coverage, if you know what I mean. And I find of late, I have not been needing to uh, color correct. Is anybody else not been doing that lately? Because I find that my, well, the foundations I've been using of late provide me like really good coverage to the point where I don't feel a need to, you know, color correct my skin at all. One less uh, product, you know, less product to apply on my face and one less step to do, really. I'm so excited for my makeup uh, revolution foundations to arrive. If you haven't seen my review on the uh, concealers, I'm going to leave that linked up uh, up along the screen somewhere. Their concealers are absolutely bomb. And if you have been watching any of my, you know, recent makeup tutorials or makeup videos then you see that i have been using those concealers quite religiously and i absolutely love them now they launched their foundation um on the 28th of last month and i swear i ordered it the day it launched right but for whatever reason it still ain't arrived and only just yesterday did i get the email saying that my order is complete and has now been sent out so i'm gonna give it till tomorrow and hopefully it arrives tomorrow like i literally cannot wait them foundations cost five pounds and from uh, a couple of reviews that i've seen already people are actually raving about it and they've got like really good things to say about it so i'm excited to receive them and try them out like i'm all for affordability there's no reason to be spending 30 nearly 40 odd quid on a foundation if you can get one for much less that does the exact same job we're not all built with you know fat bank accounts some of us actually live on a budget so it's really great that you know there are companies out there that think about people like us and provide absolutely quality products for us at a much affordable cost if you know what i mean at this junction then i pick up my sponge well i like to let it dry down a little bit you know let it set in a little bit get it to be a bit tacky 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 i want to say a big thank you to those who saw my uh i tried to follow a patrick star makeup tutorial i thoroughly enjoyed that video it took me a long time to do because i just didn't have time to do it beforehand but it was a lot of fun it's quite nice to try to do your makeup using somebody else's routine um difficult difficult because like obviously you have your own way that works for you it's a tested and trusted system for yourself so switching it up and using somebody else's routine it's it's good fun and then you can you find that you pick up stuff that you you know wouldn't try otherwise or you you learn new stuff basically is the point i'm trying to make so yeah i enjoy that thoroughly i do want to do another one i have another one that i want to give a go so if i can get 10 thumbs up on that video yeah 10 is all i'm asking for then i will do the other one um i find that a, a lot of the youtubers that i like to watch or that i feel inspired by are not popular youtubers i mean we're all inspired by different people by different things what we're attracted to it's different and that's what makes us all individual and different and special in our own way so yeah it'd be nice for me to shine a light to some of those people because they might not be people that you know like my followers are aware of but i personally think that they're dope artists and they're great at what they do so yes talking about youtube now um i've been really thinking about my channel uh for quite a while now to be honest um now i know that i'm not the most consistent youtuber i put my hands up to that and the reason why to be honest in the past has been because of work um i used to work the night shifts and i've got a kid so it's kind of, it, it was kind of hard for me to 
finish a night shift and then come home take care of the kid you know like do mommy stuff and then still sit down and film um i found that i was always often too tired um yeah and my energy just wasn't right for filming a video and it's why i just wasn't consistent as far as like uploading and the other thing is that um i have more fun doing makeup on other people than i do myself as an artist i find that's what helps you grow that's what makes you better at your craft of course you are your own first uh, specimen but it's always nice to be able to practice your craft on other people so i say that to say this <laughs> If you watch me, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my art and you are in the London area and would love to be on my channel, then please hit me up. Like, I be looking for models, okay? I be looking for models. You don't have to be a professional model, far from it. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you're in the London area and you would like to be on my channel, then just slide in my comments here or the best way of course would be my instagram so i'm gonna leave my instagram across the screen just slide in my instagram dms hit me up that's that i haven't been the most consistent youtuber in all fairness and it has been you know majorly due to my work the kind of work that i did but i am not in that job anymore so what that means is i've got my time to myself to do what i want to do for myself now ideally or the plan for me is i want to do youtube full time because now i have the time now i can absolutely invest myself into it give it a hundred percent and see you know what i can make out of it now i know that the beauty community is swamped with people now like literally there's been a huge influx of people in recent years into the youtube beauty community so but the sky is big enough huge enough for all of us to fly like literally the sky is endless limitless so there is room for everybody we've all got that one thing that we do that makes us special that makes us stand out that makes us who we are so i'm going to need your help guys this is where like I need the interaction, I need the engagement. It will be super helpful for me to know what sort of content you guys would like to see from me. Uh, because if I don't know what you want to see, then I will just essentially keep putting out stuff that I want to put out and might not necessarily be what my subscribers or my viewers are interested in. So um, I'm saying all of this to say, it would be really helpful for me if you guys just slid in my comments Set me a message or just hit me up on instagram so if you just hit me up and you know suggestions for content let me know what you want to see what you're more interested in because to be fair like i know a lot of people don't i don't know that a lot of people sit down and watch tutorials anymore to be fair um i don't really think that's the thing i think that era of watching tutorials is long gone i might be wrong if i am <laughs> let me know in the comments but that's just how i feel um so yeah it just help me out guys i need your help you need to let me know what sort of content you would like to see from me on youtube and then i can gear the content i produce in that direction um so yeah i mean it's not gonna take away from the fact that i will still put out things that i think might be good content for my uh, for my subscribers for my viewers like I will still do that but it's just helpful to know what you guys are interested in wanting to know about you know or wanting to see on here from me that would be really helpful for me personally so please guys um, yeah hit me up and let's make this happen like I'm I'm here for it now I'm ready to give it hundred and twenty percent and just go ham and you know see what see see what happens like i don't really have any goals because like no i take that back i don't really have any expectations because 
Like I don't really know what's going to happen. So I'm keeping a very open mind as far as doing YouTube full time now. My mind is very open. It is what it is. I just want to have fun with it. But I also want it to be fun for you guys as well. And that is why I'm asking that you let me know what sort of content you would like to see from me. So that I'm not the only person having fun here. We're all having fun. So that's where I'm at with that. Now I'm going to go in with Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I absolutely love this setting powder, okay? I shuffle between this one and my black opal deluxe finishing powders. So I'm not gonna do no cream contouring today. I'm going to use my sleek uh contour powder in dark. And we let that dry. And then to bronze my face, because I want to add a bit of warmth to my face, I'm going to use this matte bronzer that I picked up from Superdrug and is from the official B Beauty. It's their matte bronzer in the shade Dark. I really quite like this bronzer. I'm going to use the same brush I used for my contour. I like to use the same brush because one, one less brush to wash. And two, um, it just helps with blending the colours into each other without having to do too much work. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. Look at them cheeky cheeks. <laughs> I love my cheeks, like, don't get it twisted. You see these cheeks, they pop in. So now I'm going to go in and apply some blusher because I'm just a sucker for blush. It's really funny because I never really used to like blushes, but now it's like I can't do my makeup without putting on a bit of blush it's crazy anyways i'm going to go in with the elf blush palette in the shade dark and these are the colors in there and i'm just going to lean towards the two darkest colors up here because i just want a nice flush of color on my cheeks just something light yep that'll do I feel like I want to give myself like a pop of colour in my inner corner. Just a little something to this look. Because at the moment it's really looking pretty basic. Okay guys, so here's where we are. Um, For the lips, I went in with Chestnut from MAC. And then I used this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Honeymoon. Okay, so to round it all off, I'm going to spritz my face again. I love spritzing my face, okay? I just find that it takes away that powdery finish and my skin just looks more like skin. I'm gonna let it dry down and then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. For highlighter, I have been using this highlighter religiously. It's my favorite uh, highlighter to use and it's from Makeup Revolution and this is the Rock on World bronzer okay I like how it looks on me it just gives me a nice bronzy glowy sort of finish and I am living absolutely living for it Eww. <laughs> now I don't know if I want to throw on a wig or not throw on a wig I don't really know so I might just skip the whole wig Thing. so once i do this i like to go back in and spray my face again i told you all i'm addicted to setting sprays look my name is kemi and i am an addict i am addicted to fixing and setting sprays i can't help myself i just have to spritz my face listen i'd rather be addicted to setting sprays over crack any day okay <laughs> So this is it. I literally just went over the top with my Fenty Glow because I felt like the lips looked a bit, you know. But yeah, this is my slate. I feel like I look way better than I did when we started. This wraps up my first chit chat get ready with me style of video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to go off now and you probably had enough from me. Till I see you in the next one, guys. Be good, stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'm going to catch you all real soon. Peace.